Oh, I got 50 Gamer Point. Achievement. The Ultimate Sacrifice. Complete the Arrival DLC. That's it? Oh, wow, I beat it. Dr. Chakwas. Huh, look at this. Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. <clears throat> I decided to debrief you in person. What the fuck did you do out there, that soldier? Was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire battalion system. <laughs> what the hell happened out there, Commander? I told you. Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. Yeah, that's pretty much I what I do. Filling the leap of logic between those two events. I blow shit up. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming, and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but time ran out. Oh well. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Why am I placing you under the arrest? will want blood. <laughs> and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. Too late. You're preaching Fuck the fire, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. I have to place you under arrest. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. Bend over. Time for ass fucking federal so what prison. Do you suggest evidence against you is shoddy at best, but at some point you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them huh. fight for it. Huh? I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things, but they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus <clears throat> ship anymore. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. Is the Alliance of so the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. Hmm. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down. Right. And that was just one Reaper. <laughs> if the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. I'll gladly stay in trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Hmm. Do whatever you have to do <clears throat> out here. <clears throat> but when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. What do you give me? Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. Is that the report? Can you give it back to me? Alright, Dr. Amanda Kenton was rescued from a Batarian prison on the parent. <clears throat> on the planet Eratop, and Shepard confirmed her proof of Reaper invasion. Shepard was captured by Kenson, who had been indoctrinated by a Reaper artifact. Shepard escaped and activated the project, destroying the Alpha Relay and ending the Reaper invasion. Kenson did not survive. The Bahak system and all its inhabitants were destroyed. I got a couple upgrades. Found element zero. So my question is, what was the final achievement? Because I only got 75 achievement points, and there's usually 100 achievement points for DLC, right? 
Maybe there was a way to make her survive. Maybe there was a way to save the planet. I don't see how. How is that possible? Do I need to do that Paragon action that I didn't do because I had no fucking idea what was going on? <laughs> I hate that shit. Do Paragon action here. How the fuck was I supposed to know to do it there? I was, you know, enjoying the cutscene, and then some bullshit happens. Here, let's see what the last uh, achievement was for this DLC. Rescue Kenson without attracting hostile attention. What? So, I was supposed to rescue her without attracting hostile attention. How the fuck would I have done that? Snuck by all the guards. There was a way to sneak by them. I had no idea. Alright, so the last thing that we can do, I guess, is uh, see if I can afford the upgrades that I just found. That all just happened. Nice. Final heavy skin weave, that's six of six. Metagel upgrade. Final Metagel upgrade completed. And that is it. I've done all the upgrades, correct? Yep, every weapon and armor upgrade, I've done everything. Oh no, the last one. I didn't get this one. Are you kidding me? I didn't get submachine gun damage. What the fuck? Or sniper rifle damage. Wow, I didn't do I didn't get all the upgrades. So weird. What didn't I do? I guess there were a couple optional missions that I didn't do during the game. Everything else I got. Yeah, I got all the other upgrades. It was just the sniper rifle and the SMG. Oh no, assault rifle too. What the fuck? So stupid. Well, I already destroy things with them. I don't think that I needed those upgrades during the course of the game, so. All right, that is it for Mass Effect 2. We are officially done with Mass Effect 2. Uh, we have done everything there is to do, uh, every DLC, and uh, this, is, this is leading us directly into Mass Effect 3. We know now that Harbinger is coming. Uh, and we've delayed him. We, he supposedly was supposed to come right now, but we've managed to delay their coming for a little bit. But the good news is that this DLC basically puts you back in the saddle for the Reaper invasion, which was the problem, in my opinion, with the mainstream story of Mass Effect 2. It really danced around it. The plot of the whole first game was the Reapers are coming, and then part two kind of diverted to the the collectors and all that nonsense. It almost seemed like a side plot rather than a main part of the story. So I'm happy that now we're getting back to the Reapers. You know, we know the invasion's coming. And uh, next time that we play Mass Effect, it'll be Mass Effect 3. And, uh, yeah, I cannot freaking wait. Later this year, man, one of the biggest blockbusters. Probably going to be the biggest game this year that I play, to be honest. I think enough people enjoyed Mass Effect 1 and 2 that when I played it that they're really going to be looking forward to Mass Effect 3. So, I am too. So this is it for now. Signing off with Mass Effect 2. And I will see you guys for part 3.